This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, Luke Metal codes, Eternus codes, Zation codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today. Mew to a Mew, Tag Team Jax up on the menu with Welder. Strengths because, uh, that's just because uh, the Sunday Open concluded with Yu Ito getting first place with Mew to Welder out of 175 players. Very interesting for sure, I'm going to be checking out this list. So we have Mutual Mew Perfection, we already know what the ability does because uh, yeah, it has been around since 2019. You can uh, copy uh, attacks from your G-axis on the discard, in the discard pile or on the bench and that means you have access to uh, massive Bloom, you have access to uh, a Horror House or Poltergeist sometimes because we do run Aurora Energies. You can just Welder and go for uh, uh, yeah, Outrages, Double Blades, Flare Blitz, Jacks for 300, which is actually very good because now with Tool Jammer you shut down stuff like the Big Charm, so that's gonna be enough. You don't even need Galarian Zigzagoon in that regard. You have Ordinary Rod to shuffle back your uh, Jirachi, just because people will go after your Jirachi because this shuts down uh, the Psychic Weakness, so that means you can head, you can to go toe to toe against stuff like Dracapult. You also have uh, this Jumping Balloon, if the opponent's playing a lot of GX Pokemon, you slap more damage for everyone they have in play. Very good against Picaron, very good against other Mewtwo's, and uh, you also have Venom shots, uh, one-shotting stuff like the Danny on the bench. If you get damage, you can go for Darkest Tornado GX because that is going to be dealing bazillion damage. You have recent stamp for the late game, and uh, Stealthy Hood protects yourself from stuff like Mimikyu. So, this is the list we're working with. So, hopefully you guys are uh, excited. If you're afraid of the, the CGY matchup, you can slide uh, something like a Greninja GX in there from the Detective Pikachu set. But this is uh, the first place winning list, getting 39 points in total, 13 wins, only one loss in the Sunday Open on uh, April 11th. So uh, Yu Ito from Japan made it happen with this deck. We won the coin flip, do we go first? I think so, so you can already get the attachment going around. Maybe that's nice. We have a welder, so uh, yeah, this could be turning into quite the interesting uh, approach. We have the welder, so that means whatever's in the active position, we can slap it for a flare strike, right? That seems to be nice a nice idea. Okay, we'll see how it goes. We st <laughs> this is an interesting thing. It's Jinx. We're not gonna slap down Tool Jammer just yet, but that could be very interesting. Let's just go. We have also have a Reset Stamp. Ah, uh, these are all great cards, by the way. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna be putting an uh, Aurora Energy on this guy. Get rid of the Reset Stamp. Maybe I come to regret that reset stamp. And uh, that's it. Uh, also, let's see here. We can Welder onto the Charizard, start slapping huge damage with Flare Strike. And uh, we, we wait with the Tool Jammer until this guy is able to like switch, 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 get lots of energies on there and uh, go from there. Spike Mud energy. Research, okay. Interesting approach, for sure. Yeah, we, we don't see any spirit tombs just yet, so that's interesting. Wonder why he put the Cape of Toughness on his, onto his Jinx. That's two Cape of Toughness going down the drain. And we have the Tool Jammer as well. Quick Ball. Probably will see spirit tomb. I don't know if spirit tomb... Spirit tomb is probably a, a terrible matchup because of the fact that... <laughs> yeah, they uh, are a one prize Pokemon being able to two-shot three prizers. So if you do the math correctly, that's not good for us. He's just retreating, getting damage onto his Jinx. He didn't want his Jinx to get knocked out. We also have a Scape Rope, by the way, but we'll see how it goes. If we put Tool Jammer onto our Charizard, he cannot resort to uh, Cape of Toughness, by the way. He also have a, has a Lily's Pokédoll. That's very bad. Like, this is a strange list. Stellar Witch as well. He has Lady Spooky Dolls thrown into his Spiritomb list. How did he manage to do that? Even a Reset Stamp was in there. Level Ball. 
So yeah, we will see a huge Spiritomb attacker right now. This is a horrible matchup, I would say. We do have Venom Shot. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing, but Charizard is gonna have to poke a little bit of these Spiritombs. Building Spite. They're gonna two shot us while we are gonna be in an awkward situation. Only three cards in hand though, so maybe he waves on the energy. Ooh, Elder Chime, I guess. Ta-ta! Oh, massive bloom, so let's just get rid of this. We can get the Tool Jammer equipped it. Cherish Ball. What else? I think I want to have a Mewtwo here. So we can Venom Shot at one point. Yeah. This. Quick Ball. Get rid of this. Getting a Crobat. No Crobat? The Danny it is. Alright, folks, slapping down this guy. We will get rid of uh, the research here and get only one energy. Yeah, I actually want to be drawing into uh, good resources. Here we go. The Dene. We have a stamp, we have another welder on the corner. We have a marshmallow to get rid of his uh, spike mud if it comes to be. Cherish Ball, let's get Naganadel in the discard pile. Yeah, and we're gonna go for the Danny Jax again next turn. We'll see how it goes. So let's just go for a Flitter Strike. If he doesn't attack us, we can go for Double Blaze. If he does... Yeah, we do have the boss here, that's cool. Boss, Double Blaze is nice, because he might have like Lily's Pokedoll. How many Spike Muds in there? Only one. Ooh. He does have energy, so he can try to go for like the two shot, which I do think he's gonna go for. Tool Jammer is still here though. I think I will just Welder onto Mewtwo, and then, yeah, there's Building Spite as well. And this Tool Jammer shuts down uh, Cape of Toughness, which is good, so he cannot like go for crazy damage output instantly. Okay. Get an energy onto that other one. He bosses the mimic, uh, the Marshadow here and knocks it out. We don't care about this, although our Dedani is also a two prizer, which we do care about. Only three cards in his hand. Giant Heart, get rid of the Naganadel. We're gonna be Weldering. Onto the Mew 2. Two energies. We have Aldegos and more bosses where those came from. That's pretty nice. And we also have Stamp if things come to shove. So uh, let's just go for. Yeah, Flare Strike again. Yeah, we have Tool Jammer, so he's not gonna go for crazy outputs, that's for sure. Maybe he's not drawing anything. He did draw a prize card sneakily with that boss doors on our Marsh Shadow, which I didn't like at all. How many quick balls in there? One quick ball, one level ball. Either way, we boss the Spirit Tomb instantly, so there's uh, a Bird Keeper. We do have Boss, Boss, Eligo, so uh, that's not too bad. There's the Cape of Toughness, okay. This doesn't work with uh, the Tool Jammer though. If he goes for overboard damage and tries to like gust up a Mewtwo for 310 damage, that's not gonna work. Omnia Exposure, putting more damage onto the Spiritomb, I presume? No, putting damage onto a doll, okay. Well, in that case, let's uh, clean up this mess. And we also put the Aurora Energy. We can Cherish Ball, maybe we can put a, a Valplume or other, other Pokemon, like Horror House is also a nice option to be honest. This, let's get rid of it. And yeah, I'm not gonna waste all of these cards. I'm just gonna go for double blaze, GX. And now we can just Venom Shot or just go for Eldigo's boss. Whatever he, <laughs> we do have Tool Jammer, so we don't have to be afraid of this at all. 
two spirit tombs down the drain. There's a level ball. We only need three prize cards. So the prize raise is definitely on. And this list is also not running the switches. So uh, we still need to keep going with this approach. There is only one boss in here. So we can still get at least three more bosses down the, down the line. So that's nice. He can hide with the Lilith's Pokedoll, but we have boss. And we have lots of quick balls to find Eldegoose for boss. Okay. There's a Cape of Toughness either way. He can never go for the one-shot on this Charizard, that's for sure. He can hide with Lily's Pokedoll a little bit. He can put it in the bottom of his deck and try to poke with poke the Charizard a little bit. But then he loses another Spirit Tomb. Unless he is drawing very well into Ordinary Rods, we should be okay. Quite the crazy match, that's for sure. Okay, switch. He could go for like two shot on this guy. That's not a big issue. He's never gonna get to one hit KO here. Yeah, he puts damage onto this guy. He can poke Mewtwo, but that we don't care about. The reason why I didn't promote the Dana is that either we need to like attach and get him out of the active position. And in this situation, um, yeah, he could go to the, oh, it's a two prize Pokemon. Ooh. Escape rope again. Yeah, it's a dual jammer coming back. He gets damaged, it's okay. Maybe he's looking for boss to boss the Dedenne here. Only having access to one more Cape of Toughness, by the way. For all we know, it's prized, so his damage output becomes 160 instead. Level ball, another Spear Tomb. Okay, either way, it's fixed right now because we just bossed this guy, Eldegoose boss. So uh, that Crobat ensured us the game. I was expecting a two-prize Pokemon at one point. Also, Mew is in the discard pile, so we can even Venom Shot his Spirit Tombs if need be. Anguish Cry for 130. Yeah. We do have access to Flare Strike, so it's just gonna have to be boss, two-prizer going down, and Mewtwo can attack well, whatever. Just in case we attach here so uh, <laughs> we can get out of the active. And we also overlap the spike mod. So uh, it's over, done. The game's over. Look at that. Three quick balls to ensure ourselves we have outs with research to find air balloons or. <laughs> yeah, well played. Thank you. Well played. Okay, so we slapped the spirit tomb around. So uh, the high amount of boss I do love. I'll do as well. Tool Jammer is pretty interesting in this matchup. That means he cannot resort to um, Escape of Toughness, which is uh, the, the card he uses to go overboard and hits for the 310 damage output with Spirit Tomb. With that shutdown, we uh, actually got the W here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily content. I do love playing with new decks every single day. So hopefully you guys are able to uh, at least copy the deck list in the description and have uh, try it out for yourself. Okay, they decide who goes first. They go first, so uh, we start off with Mewtwo. Perfect, Mewtwo and Tool Jammer. Like, I couldn't ask for a better start right here. And even Cherish Ball, so we can cherry pick whatever we want. Ooh, Type Null. This is gonna be Stall deck. This is it gonna be st uh, Torch Control? Capture Energy, I, I'm, I'm getting scared right now. Excadrill, oh, it's Zacian. We need to get this uh, stuff done ASAP. I don't know what this guy will be playing. He's gonna control us, right? He's gonna trap us. That is his main plan, right? I think that is his main plan. To Galar trap us. He might potentially Galar trap us, but we do have lots of air balloons by our side. So do we care? I don't think so. Gengar Mimikyu, let's go for Cherish Ball. Getting ourselves a great attacker is uh, going to be Vile Plume if we draw into. And yeah, there's two air balloons in there. Galar Trapping is not going to be too concernful if we have lots of air balloons by our side. So we need to get everything ASAP. Quick Ball, let's get rid of this. And we also have uh, Mars Shadow to get rid of the Galar Mine, by the way. So that's that's nice to see. So, on that hand, let's just get Charizard, put it into this Carpal. 
Yeah, these are all of our attackers, so let's just put all of them in the discard pile. And uh, we have lots of boss in our hand in our deck, so uh, let's just go for the Dene. Maybe we can uh, make sure he's not able to draw cards with our GX move. We do have a boss as well, interesting. We can stamp him. Stamps are also very huge to uh, establish this scenario. Hmm. We need the Aurora energy. Need the Aurora energy or need the welder. Mm hmm. Putting him down to a low hand size. And I think I will uh, try to go as quickly as possible. So, quick ball. Getting the Marsh Shadow. He's not going to be touching that, I think. Just in case he wants to gather trap us, that's not going to work out. And uh, we just go for research. Hopefully, get ourselves an uh, Aurora Energy. There's the Aurora Energy, so uh, that's not too bad. Also, the Welder here. Perfect. I'm going to leave the Charge Balls because those are outs if he wants to like hand lock us. Attachment over here. Let's get rid of the Jirachi. And we actually can make sure he cannot play any cards from his hand so Silvalli never gets established unless he, he retreats to the Stellarish Jirachi. Oh, these are difficult matchups for sure. Mm -hmm. Allergic Explosion. <laughs> 50 damage injection. These are all attacks which I like to use, but we're not gonna going to use. Horror House GX. Yeah, he's, so he's not able to play down any cards from his hand. He can retreat and go for Stellar Rage, but this is going to be a trapping deck. And I don't think we have answers against that trapping deck. It's like Excadrill hand control. You see the, the deck that uh, Thor Reckliff used in Player's Cup number uh, three is not able to play down any cards he could retreat and then get rid of his capture energy which is exactly what he's doing here but well, these are actually multiple prize pokemon i love to see those on the bench he also can go for jesse james and that i found very scary okay we are fast asleep okay we do have the boss here fortunately not it's gonna have to be waiting for next turn so let's just go for welder We're gonna stamp him later down the line. More Cherish Balls. Research is also good. These are all very great cards, by the way. I'm actually just gonna get rid of the Stealthy Hood. I'm getting two more energies. And uh, let's just go for a massive bloom. We also have Venom Shot, by the way. We're gonna do, go with Venom Shot later. I actually want him establishing this GX Pokemon right there, Silvalli. We have Boss. We have a huge hand, so uh, he's not able to like stamp and Jesse James, Lieutenant, surge us just yet. There's a Minchino. I have seen this deck in action, so I'm. Uh, that's why I'm scared of this matchup. Communication. Will we see the Mew or will we see the Excadrill? He needs to like get the perfect combo going around. I think in this scenario, we could potentially attach again to the Mewtwo and um, Venom shot his Drill Burr if he only has one. Then we need to, need to make sure he gets this as a two prizer and gets this as a two prizer. Those stick in the game and we go from there. Because if we go down to like three cards. If he stamps us, he can Jesse James and it's gonna be bad. We still have lots of Cherish Balls and Quick Balls into our uh, list, so it's nice. Another Min uh, Minchino, yeah. Capture Energy. Okay, he does find his dr little Drill Burr. Mm -hmm. Does he already have what it takes? Do we boss the Zation and try, hope he bricks from there on out? He already has a huge cards in his hand, right? So let's just go for this approach. We do have Venom Shot later, so uh, we can Venom Shot this Excadrill later. We're gonna be attaching here and uh, stamping him as well so he doesn't get the combo going. He 
Yeah, also going to be giant harding the Mewtwo. We don't want to draw that. There, we just make sure that all the cards that we get chip chip into are the correct cards. This guy is still stuck. I don't know if he's playing air balloons or not. I don't know. Maybe we just, uh, on this situation, he does have bird keepers, right? Yeah, I think so. Just gonna go for a flare strike. So he doesn't draw any more cards. Then we go for Venom Shot onto his Drill Burr and see if that goes our way. We do have Air Balloons. Yeah, these are the Air Balloons. I'm actually gonna slap down the Air Balloon instantly onto the Danny. Unless he like stamps us and gets everything right now. We stamp to uh, like six, six cards. He draws up turn. He might have Chinchino, draw more. Chinchino has still Vala as well. Okay, there's one Chinchino. But there's still 38 cards left in his deck, so I don't think he's gonna have the full combo. Wondrous Labyrinth. We need an additional energy, which we don't care about. We also have Giant Heart to overlap that and Marshaller to get rid of it. So that's not gonna cause us any more trouble. And the reason why Marshaller is here is just because he might have Power Plant as well. And we get stamped to quite a nice hand, if I say so myself. We have instant research. So I'm just actually gonna leave all those cards in the in our hand. Or do we go for research again so he needs to find another stamp again? Mew is also in the discard pile. So we can easily go for uh, shots onto the Excadrill. He leaves this one, okay. In that scenario, Two more energies. Welder. I'm actually only gonna be weldering one energy. Air balloon over here. This is scary to have in uh, our hand, to be honest. He could. And then this time, this time we just venom shot. So he bricks, right? He only has four cards in hand. One, two. Yeah, they just concede. So uh, we outplayed that crazy control deck. You have to be quick. You have the reset stamps by your side, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Put all uh, of your uh, time and effort into one Mewtwo. Get Air Balloon onto your Dedenne so you don't get that Galar trapped. And um, the Mimikyu, actually the um, Marshadow protects yourself from some crazy power plant plays. So. And we even have Ordinary Rod to shuffle some stuff back. So if your energies go down the drain, you can also shuffle two of them back. And we got rid of his uh, draw support, so that's what you got, have to do uh, with that matchup. Get rid of his draw support. Excadrill cannot like find his fighting type energy anyhow, otherwise. And uh, now we are up against something else entirely. Uh, we already see a hard face. Thank you. Uh, hopefully we will find something nice because this hand is uh, rubbish. Cherish Balls Communications. Cherish Balls Communication. Blacephalon, maybe? Okay, Mewtwo! Thank you! Okay, it's Victini. Victini V freaking Max. Not gonna slap down our giant heart, that's for sure. We have this. We have the Aurora Energy. Get rid of this. We have air balloons by our side. Cherish Ball. I actually want to have Welder here so we can actually go for a huge damage output or already slap some damage right now. That's something I do love to do. Yeah, maybe we can just have switch and then we can dunk this Victini because Yeah, that's also a nice option horror housing If we find ourselves a switch, that's gonna be awesome Maybe we maximize our chances here if we go for this scenario <laughs> giant heart Might as well stamp and do a low hand size For the memes of it if we find air balloon right now, we are golden yeah, two more energies, it doesn't matter. How many switch outs? Escape rope and three air balloons, so that's four outs. And we still have Crobat as well. Come on, let's dong this fella. Let's do this. Okay, this is turning into quite the scary thing for the opponent. As mentioned, we have full control here. Air balloon on this guy as well. Let's just go for Horror House. Ta-ta! <laughs> okay, now we either need to find Welder and go for the Charizard attack. Yeah, there's a spreading flames onto himself. We're actually doing nothing at all. 
All right, folks. Either like Poltergeist is not gonna do the job. Just gonna go for a quick ball, get rid of this Megalopunny. Getting ourselves Charizard, which is actually gonna be awesome. How many welders? Only two. That's a little bit tricky. That is a little bit tricky, I have to agree. So we're just gonna slap down this Charizard. We need to welder in order to KO him, right? Or go for Poltergeist, but I, I don't think he has four items in hand, but that's also an option. Also an option, but this is ensuring us we actually are doing something crazy. So let's go for Crobat and then the Dene. Crobat, we do find Welder. Well, <clears throat> what do you know? Sometimes the deck is just insane. So uh, we're just gonna dunk this guy thanks to the crazy uh, Poltergeist. Actually, the uh, Horror House. That's what this deck is all about. Well played. Well played. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Slapped around with a Flare Strike. So uh, this deck is doing incredibly well. We have uh, the Spirit Tomb matchup out of the way. We have the uh, Victidi matchup out of the way. We cheesed them out. We had the Hand Lock uh, Excadrill Control out of the way. So this deck has uh, options for everything, right? We have options for everything. Do love the way you can snap with Naganadel. If we get hit, we have Incineroar. <laughs> I don't think any of our Mewtwo's got like slapped around with damage just yet. Come on, next opponent. Hopefully he's gonna be able to slap some damage. It's probably gonna be ADP. And this Mewtwo list, I assure you, has a great matchup against ADP just because of the fact you can go for Double Blaze for 300 or just uh, go for uh, the Massive Bloom and go from there. Against ADP, I think I will go first. We have the Dene, we have maybe the first turn. Yeah, we, we have the Dene and the first turn attachment, but uh, resorting to like a two-prizer here is not good on the active slot just because ADP punishes you for that. And this is darkness okay he just misled misled me completely with his uh deck box it's arceus deck box but it's not adp at all not adp at all okay we do have cherish ball and quick ball uh maybe we can horror house him horror house the cheese is away we already have one aurora energy it's like uh, Cherish Ball, Mewtwo, Aurora Energy, onto Mewtwo, getting the Dene and stuff. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the rest of the mulligans. We already have our Gengar Mimikyu. Well, in that regard, I don't know what I'm up against. It's a Darkness deck, right? It is a Darkness deck. So Mewtwo maybe can do some funky stuff. Mewtwo... We can go for a quick ball, let's get rid of this guy. And uh, I actually want to be weldering, right? We want to be weldering so we can put up pressure, although we can also go for Massive Bloom. We can also go for Massive Bloom if we find it, however. If we go for the Danny right now, there's a couple of things in the discard pile. We have the Giant Heart, maybe we can welder the following turn. Yeah. Stealthy Hoods also protects ourselves from these crazy things and also will allow us to go for horror house gx at one point so aurora energy on our fella get rid of the research and get the giant heart equipped and gonna go for the dene gx goodbye fire energies two the dene's on our field what a liability mm, this also not gonna be mattering too much let's get rid of it two energies we have the welder Ordinary Rod can shuffle back energies if we want to, but right now I think it's fine. We could stamp him, but we're not gonna do that. He only has one Pokemon. Start off with Galarian Zigzagoon, and uh, we can slap that for with, with uh, Poltergeist. Great ball. There's Eternus. I think Eternus is a, a terrible matchup for this deck. Just because we only have 270 HP, they slap 270 damage. We, don't, we are not running Big Charm. We do run escape rope, so if we find that, that would be terrific. I do also think that our flare striker is prized. Is that weak guard energy? Nope, it's capture energy. He's going to be uh, finding another basic Pokemon. Oof, Crobat? What? Great ball. <laughs> Why would you take Crobat from the capture energy? That's something I don't know. Was that a misplay? Probably should go for other, like, maybe he doesn't have, all the rest of the Pokemon could be priced. Quick ball, get rid of an energy. There's another Crobat, okay. He's just trying to get his bench as filled up as possible. Probably would have gone for, um, oof, instant attachment with the Turbo Patch. 
He says, screw power accelerator. Don't even need that. Hoopa. Why wouldn't you capture energy for the Hoopa? I'm confused, but it is what it is. Next turn, then Eternus will slap us down. Yeah, in that regard. Giant heart, this fella. Can get it back with ordinary rods, but we actually need to be drawing some stuff right now. Welder! Chaka, chaka. Okay, okay, okay. Is there any attacker that allows us to knock out um, the zigzag? Any attacker whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> this is of course the way we go. Massive bloom. Massive bloom, putting it in a discard pal. And getting ourselves another Mewtwo, or do we go for Dene? We do have, however, like uh, Aldego's Welder again, so I think I will go for another Mewtwo. Yeah, another Mewtwo, and we will shuffle back. Do we shuffle back Pokemon as well? Nah, we're just gonna shuffle the energies. Shuffle basic energies. That's what we're selecting here. Getting both of them slapped back in the deck. It's another Mewtwo. And uh, we will need to like attach retreat this turn, unfortunately. But we have access to the massive bloom. Massive bloom activate. Yeah, so many options with Mewtwo, it's crazy. So massive bloom, I think Incinerator needs to be in the discard pile for us to do uh, a crazy GX play. Aurora energy. Aurora energy allows us to uh, use a horror house GX. Horror house GX. But the opponent will still be able to attack. So will this guy be able to fill up his rest, the rest of his bench? He needs four basic Pokemon. That's one. He needs three more. There's a research. Well, I think we're going down here. Scoop up nets. If he finds... Yeah, he needs four more Pokemon. Yeah, I was wrong. Four more Pokemon. Attachment onto Eternus. Isn't Cinero even in here? We can Eldegos and go for like research as well if we want to go for the Incineroar play. Or we Welder. Incineroar Welder. Ooh, if he knocks us out, we have Research Stamp. There's another Crobat. Oh, more. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He already used Research, so uh, hopefully all the rest of his cards are just Marnies and stuff. Or cards he's not able to play. Energies. Yo, Communication Zigzag. Why would you do that? Yeah, getting the zigzag back, slapping the zigzag, zigzag down, then going for Crowlet for four. I'm getting scared. So as mentioned, Mewtwo Welder is an amazing deck, but you don't want to be seeing Eternus, I think. Because you can also add in like uh, other cards, like um, Alolan... Gr uh, yeah, I think it's Alolan Muck and all that. He also has, still has Galarian Zigzag, by the way. No. Did he? Oh, he shuffled that back in. We survived. So... Uh, it all comes down. Quick ball. Okay. We can boss, which we are not gonna do. Although we can boss and knock out this guy. Ha 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 ha. Reset time gets an even more card. So we instantly go for this first. Incineroar is in there, ladies and gentlemen. Incineroar is in there. Do we find a cherish ball to find him? We only need a one attachment, right? I actually want to be weldering, but we still have welders right here as well. Two energies in there as well. Maybe we just go for the Danny Jax here. Do we still have research left? No. <laughs> okay, we do not have research. What do we do? What do we do? Definitely attachment onto the Mewtwo. Really need to be discarding some stuff here. Eldegos. Yeah, let's just take this. We're going to be using Aurora Energy on this guy. Ta-ta. We're going to be going for Eldegos. Research. And hopefully find our Incineroar here. Yo, no Incineroar just yet. Okay, we do have the air balloon, stealthy hood as well, so no damage pings going around. 
air balloon onto this guy, I guess. We still need to like quick ball, Danny Jacks. We just need to find a cherish ball, right? Cherish ball or incinerator. There's three outs. And we are not able to use Giant Heart just yet, just because we need to discard our Incineroar. Come on! Yeah, there's the Cherish Ball. Even Incineroar instantly, wow. Let's get rid of the Incineroar, getting ourselves another energy. Let's just go for Cherish Ball. And we can also go for that move, move. Air Balloon here. Air Balloon on everybody! Here we go. We have now access to a whole different attack. And the attack is called Darkest Tornado G Frickin' Axe Kazam! Thousand and stuff damage. How many reset stamps? Yeah, we need to have like reset stamp right now and welder. So we can gust up something the following turn. Energy. Research. And Charizard. Well. We also have escape rope, right? Yeah, he got rid of all his all of his one prizers here. Huh. Interesting. Is escape rope in the discard pile? It is. No. Even, we even get Marnit. Might get us into reset. I don't think I don't know if reset stamp is in the deck. I don't know. We do get the welder here though. We also can venom shot. <laughs> yeah, we can venom shot the, the, the Sableye. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, that's also our win con. And I think if he doesn't overlap our giant heart, it's gonna be game. And I think, yeah, that's our last giant heart, by the way. So fingers crossed. Also, he needs to turn his VMAX to knock this guy out or it's game instantly. Huh. <laughs> they just concede. Yo, there we go. Mewtwo able to win everything today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. Go thank you, Ito, if you're from Japan. Fantastic uh, achievement here on the Sunday Open on uh, April 11th. So we are making this video. Uh, a couple of days later so you guys have the full input on this deck list how it works what specific cards have been used be sure to demolish that like button if you enjoy the content also go check out our sponsors potownstore.com the best place to get yourself some tcgo code cards you can use the coupon code zapdos tcg for five freaking percent of your order get yourself new new codes eternus codes zation codes wherever you need you can get five percent off and also go check out cardmarket.com a european platform where you can buy and sell cards to people all across europe i personally use it every day so uh if you're from europe go check out cardmarket.com Come. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in another TCG video very, very shortly. Peace.